Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, hello, my name is Mackenzie. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and stick around. I post tons of different fashion, college, and lifestyle content here on my channel, and I'll be uploading every single day in the month of December. Today, I am doing a collaboration with Zaffle, and I'm super excited. It has been quite a bit since our last haul together. I think the last one I did with them was probably a bikini haul, so it's about time that I share some sweaters, jackets, basics for the fall slash winter time. As always, I will leave links to everything down below along with my sizing info and measurements I know that you guys like to go off of that so I will have it all down there as well as my coupon code so that you guys can save 18% off your entire purchase hope you guys are excited and without further ado let's hop right on it. all right we're gonna start off with my favorite item from the haul which is hands down this teddy coat right here I've had a few different teddy coats over the years and this one is definitely the best quality one I've ever received it is super super thick and I am wearing this in a size small it has a lining along the inside and then the outside is just this Sherpa material I like that the Sherpa isn't too fuzzy because it doesn't attract as much lint and that's the issue that I've had with some of the other ones they get really gross really fast and this one's the perfect amount of oversized it's not too big where you're swallowing your body in it but it is large enough that you can layer a chunky knit turtleneck or a sweater underneath so awesome for that obviously this isn't the warmest jacket in the world it's not going to replace your parka if you're somewhere cold in Ohio like me but it is a great transitional piece and so worth the money let's talk about shackets baby they are so trendy right now and I had to pick up two because I've been on such a shacket kick I have loved styling these they look especially great with hooded sweatshirts underneath they also look great with just basics layered underneath even a sweater you can dress them up dress them down if you don't know what a shacket is it's basically a shirt that is thicker than a flannel but it is thinner than your jacket so so it's it's a perfect transitional piece. It's not too much. It's not too little. I'm wearing this one in a size small. It's just the right amount of oversized. Definitely bigger than the one I'm about to show you. And it is just a red and navy. I think this is a great color palette for the holidays. And I'm really excited to wear this. I think it will look really good with blue jeans and a pair of sneakers. These are so awesome if you're a college student. I also picked up this one. And it is a light blue, a little bit of tan, and some white. And this one is so soft. This one is soft, but it's like a coarser flannel whereas this one is just really soft to the touch it's a little bit thinner than the other one definitely more of a flannel feel than a jacket but I love this it's got buttons along one side so you can wear this buttoned up as a flannel if you want as well I think that this is a really cute color palette and one that you could definitely wear as you transition into the spring I know that's a little bit further out but if you're thinking about getting the most bang for your buck this one is definitely one that could last months all right moving on to sweaters I grabbed about I think five of them in this this haul and Zaffle sweaters can be pretty hit or miss depending on the content of the fibers so all you have to do is go to the description and check like what the blend of materials are if it's acrylic I always recommend staying away from it acrylic will basically disintegrate in the wash the more times you wash and dry it so I definitely don't recommend putting them in the dryer at all if you do choose to get them but I do try to stay away from that polyester and cotton blends definitely tend to wear the best I get all of my sweaters in a size medium from them and on Honestly, this time around I kind of wished I would have gone up to a large so I typically wear a small but I do go up to a medium for their sweaters just because they tend to run a little bit short in sleeve length and in actual length the first one I grabbed is this white turtleneck and I love the fit of this it's rather boxy and it's got a little bit of a bat wing I really really like the fit of this but like I said it is on that shorter side so if you are looking for something a little more oversized a I wouldn't go for a cropped sweater to begin with but B I would recommend going up at least one size I can't wait to wear this with jeans and boots I also grabbed that same sweater in this green and I was not expecting it to be this color it's kind of a funky green if I'm being honest but I think I'm gonna save this for st. Patrick's Day it's usually pretty cold here still in March but I think that this would be the perfect piece for it it's a really cute turtleneck and like I said I do love the cropped fit I think it's really flattering on my body shape um, I have a much shorter torso and I am on the petite side so wearing cropped sweaters or just crop tops in general with high-waisted jeans is a really good way to break up the proportions of my body I don't know if that makes sense but this sweater comes in a few different colors and it was definitely my favorite style from the bunch 
lunch. If you guys have been watching my hauls, you know I've been picking up this color like crazy lately. It's like a mix between a burnt orange and a barn red, and it's so flattering and fun for this time of year. As November was winding down, I was wearing something this color, I swear, every single day. I love the varsity, like vintage style feel to this with the distressed hem. I still have the tag on it, ignore that. The distressed hem and the v-neck. I think it's really cute, and then it's got stars, of course. Kind of reminds me of like a varsity sweater. This this would be really cute with a tennis skirt and a pair of chunky sneakers love 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 very fun and the length of the sleeves was perfect on this speaking of holiday colors i had to pick up this red cable knit sweater i mean how cute is that i love the chunky turtleneck and this one's a little bit longer so more of a full length fit which you guys seem to love and the sleeves are long enough on this one i always recommend checking the sleeve length on their sweaters especially if you have longer arms i have really long arms so i always look at that measurement specifically typically if it's shorter than 19 inches i will skip out on the sweater altogether but I love this I think with a pair of jeans and booties this would be awesome for the holiday time especially if you have a gathering coming up I know a lot of things aren't necessarily like dresses skirts um, most people when I like did a poll on this over on my Instagram said that they wear sweaters they wear leggings they wear jeans and so this would be really good for that occasion I picked up this sweater and I really wanted to love it, but it is so ridiculously small. I got this in a size medium and it literally barely covers my bra. If I were to lift my arms anywhere past here, like I would be like under boobing everywhere. So I really wanted to like this, but it just didn't work for me. I'm thinking maybe if I wear this with black high-waisted leggings, then I think I might be able to get away with it. It might actually look really cute with leggings and a white pair of sneakers, but this definitely didn't work with jeans. I really wanted to love it, but I would if you do decide to get this, know that it is short and I would recommend going up two sizes cuz I have this in a medium and she was really tiny. I am a sucker for good basics as you can tell from the top I have on and so I grabbed this top in two different colors. That's like my favorite thing to do when I find something I really like I will grab it in multiple colors and this is just a long sleeve and it is the softest material. This is a ribbed cotton and it's awesome for layering. This definitely is a crop top and it has those cinches along the side so you can kind of decide how short you want it to be. I love this especially when I'm wearing high-waisted jeans and joggers because some tops I need a little bit extra length and other ones I want it to be shorter just to show a little bit of skin perfect top to transition from fall to winter winter to spring spring to summer whatever this is something that I would wear all year round I love long sleeves and this one has just a little bit of underwire right here it's not actual underwire but it's like a seam right there that's really really flattering no matter your chest size and of course because I loved it in black I had to go ahead and grab it in this nude I love this color I never reached for this color last year and then I tried out one top in this hue at the beginning of the fall and I've been wearing so much of it I think it's really really flattering if you are tanner then I definitely think that it will complement your skin tone better but if you are super pale this might wash you out a little bit again it's that same exact style same fit and I think this comes in even more colors so definitely recommend this one I grabbed one bodysuit because I just couldn't resist I know that fall and winter are nearing but I saw this and I actually thought it would be perfect for the holidays not only would this be cute on its own with like a leather jacket layered over top but this would be really great with a long sleeve turtleneck underneath and you could layer this over top it is the most gorgeous velvet color it is like a teal but it almost looks green in some lights like this definitely could work for the holidays just because it is a jewel tone very very beautiful and velvet always reminds me of the holiday time love it and this was the perfect length on me it is a full coverage bottom which isn't always my favorite but it has snaps which makes going to the bathroom so much easier and then last but not least, I picked up this tank top. I love cutesy little tops like this for the weekends here at college. Even though the going out scene is obviously not going out or in the middle of a pandemic, even when I am just hanging with my roommates in my bedroom, like in our apartment on the weekends, I still like to get dressed up in something like this in black jeans just to make me feel like the school year is a little more normal. You got to do what you got to do. And I think this is such a cute top. It's very unique. It's white on one side and gray on the other. And then it laces up the center with a little bit of mesh it's a very very cool I've never seen a top like this 
but I did read in the reviews that this is like a dupe for I want to say something from Urban Outfitters I don't remember exactly where the top original top was from but I think this will look adorable with black jeans and a pair of black boots all right you guys that is going to be all for today's short and sweet Zaffle haul I hope you guys enjoyed I will leave my coupon code here on the screen so that you guys can save some money on your purchase this holiday season like I said I will leave links to everything down below and hopefully there will be a blog post down there as well styling some of these pieces so you can get some outfit inspo for yourself if you want to see more Zaffle hauls be sure to give this video two thumbs up and hit the subscribe button and I will talk to you in my next video peace out Girl Scouts